Hello, my name is Michelle Corey, and I built the Lifesavers 2023 event site and mobile app. Today, I wanted to show you a few of the neat search features. So I'm on the home page here. Um, you can click the full schedule tile, and we will go to the full schedule of workshops which then you can browse by date. You can also reach this by going over to the left-hand navigation menu. You can see there's various ways to view the presentations. We have our workshop grid in PDF, uh, information about the auxiliary trainings and the main events, and then the full schedule, which is where we are now. Browse by date. You can also browse by title, which will give you the workshop names in alphabetical order. Browse by presenter, which will give the speakers in, in alphabetical order. And browse by track. So lots of ways to search through the information. But one of my favorite things is the universal search button. It's pretty sophisticated because it will search both the workshop title and the workshop description as well as the speaker name. So let's say that I know that I wanted to go to a workshop and I knew it had the word beyond in it, but I couldn't remember what track it was in. I couldn't remember what the whole title was. I can just search for the word beyond. And you see, I got five results for the word beyond. This one has beyond in the title, so it's highlighted. This one, the word beyond, is in the description. Here's another one where it's highlighted, so it's in the title. And then hopefully one of these is the one that I was thinking about. Uh, so from this page, it's a great place to show you other ways you can look through the information. So from here, uh, you see that all the workshops are tagged with a workshop track. You cannot click that button right there, but hold on, you can if you go into the workshop. So you just click the workshop. Now the track button is clickable. So when I click this track button, what will come up next is all the workshops that are in the child passenger safety track. So that's a neat way to, to search if you're already in a workshop to find more workshops of the same uh, interest. So we're gonna go back, because from here, what I also wanted to show you was that from here now, I can click on the speaker and I can get more information about the speaker. So I'm gonna click on Joe here. And now I have Joe's information and I can see that Joe is in is speaking in three presentations so if I want to go and this is the one we were in regulation and compliance and beyond maybe I want to see what he's going to talk about on Monday I can click that presentation and then I can read the description about that one so let's go back into Joe so here I can favorite him like him and uh, share his information via Facebook or Twitter. Let's see, so say I want to favorite Joe. I have to be logged in. There we go. Oops, now let's go back to where I was. All right, there we go. So now when, this is what I wanted to show you too. Once I'm logged in, now I can favorite Joe, I can like Joe, or I can share his information with somebody else via email, Facebook, Twitter, or via printing. What I can't do is, is contact Joe through here. So we do that to protect the privacy of the speakers. 
but most speakers will also have created an attendee profile. And as long as they've shared their attendee profile, you can contact them via that profile. So I'm going to close that out and I'll go to people, attendees. I'll go to Joe. Now here's Joe's attendee profile. And from here now, I can favorite him. I can send him an email. And you'll see when you send someone an email, you don't get to see their email address. It's sent through the platform. So don't worry about getting spam. You will only get intended messages. I can also email him in the, or not email him, sorry, message him in the platform. This will come up um, just like a push notification. It should come up in both the website and the mobile app. And again, I could print out his information. I could also click on any of these ribbons. Oops, okay, I can't click them from there. I'll show you. From here, I can click a ribbon and I can see who else has given themselves that ribbon. So maybe I wanna see who else has given themselves a child passenger safety ribbon. I click it, now I filtered by that ribbon. And from here, I can, you know, decide if there's someone I want to send a message to, maybe meet up with. Maybe it seems like someone who would be um, a good person to work with based on what I do. You have options there. I want to go back to the presentations one sec because uh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. So when I'm in the presentation, and actually this is a great one to show you because this one has uh, some other other uh, things in it that the one we just looked at did not. So for one, I can see here that 66 people have already viewed this presentation. Uh, the one thing I think is really neat is that here I can see who has already favorited this. So again, here's another great way to find people who are interested in the same thing I'm interested in. Um, you can send them a message. Maybe they want to meet you during one of the networking sessions. Maybe you can collaborate. Uh, there's lots of opportunity there. And then also, as the slides and presentations are being uploaded uh, to the platform, you can view them now ahead of time. So for an example, Ashley has posted a slide. I can view it now. I could print it and bring it with me if I want to take notes on it. Uh, if you're in the mobile app, this is going to look almost exactly the same. But from the mobile app, you'll be able to take notes right on the slide. That's a very neat feature. And then if, if the presenters have uploaded any extra information, you will also see it. For instance, here there are a couple videos that have been shared. So I think that's a real quick overview on searching through the presentations and a little bit about... Um, looking at the speakers and how to contact people. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My email is uh, on the tech support pages of both the website and the mobile app. Um, you should find that the mobile app is gonna look very similar to this website. It functions very similarly. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see you in Seattle. Thank you.